This is the Ray remote. This may be the last remote you'll ever need for it takes all of these and combines them into this, a simple, easy to use touchscreen experience. In the box, you will get the remote itself. Then you get some literature on how to get started along with the licensing agreement. Then you get a dock that you will place your Ray into so you can charge it. Then you get a braided micro USB cable and you also get a wall plug. These come together to make an elegant charging solution to recharge its built-in battery. The Ray is made out of premium materials like Gorilla Glass on the front and back and metal on the side with a full 4.8 inch color touchscreen display giving you an experience that you are already familiar with your smartphone. There are only three physical buttons that you need to get familiar with and that is the power button up top, the mute button below it, and the volume rocker up and down switch. Power it on and the setup is extremely easy. Everything is automated and there's no need to hook it up to anything else for there's a built-in keyboard and all of the setup is done right on the Ray. It's as easy as clicking yes or no and telling Ray your favorite channels and what peripherals that you may have in your entertainment setup and here is where you will pair up all of your streaming devices, game consoles, Blu-ray players, soundbars, and AV systems. After setting up your Ray, here is what the home screen looks like. All of your apps are listed vertically. You have a power button at the very top. You have the greeting below it, which you can change just by tapping it. And you can also display the weather and time if you like it to here. You can keep it as simple or as complicated as you like by going into the settings, tapping on the home screen tab, and change what is displayed on the home screen with on and off toggles, and you can rearrange the priority by holding the tab on the right side and moving it to where you want it to be. The lightning bolt on the bottom left side is a device manager where if things somehow go out of sync, you can control the power of all of the individual devices you have connected. On the bottom right is where your collection of virtual remotes live. It defaults to the device that you're currently watching, but you can easily change this by tapping at the title at the top to reveal all of your remotes, and you can pick the one that you need. You will see support for popular streaming set-top boxes like the Nvidia Shield, Roku, and the Apple TV. Watching live TV has never been easier. You just tap on the TV icon, and recommendations of all your favorite channels and what is on currently are displayed. When you swipe over to the left, it will display more of your interest groups that you entered during your setup process, so keeping up with your favorite shows, kid content, and news is just a screen away. Once you find something that you want to watch, just tap on it and it will turn on your TV, cable box, AV equipment, and everything that you have synced to start watching. It automatically switches to the right input and changes to the correct channel, so the remote operates independently. If you're a fan of sports, the Ray will help you keep up with all of your favorite teams, games, and content that are happening all in one easy to follow app. You can change the sport by swiping left and right, tap on the listing to watch the game right now, or if a game is on later, you can set a reminder so you can make sure you don't miss that game. From the home screen, you can also control the DVR portion of your cable box and easily get to your on-demand content with one click. The Kids app is optimized to make Ray enjoyable for your kids with large images of recognizable characters. Tapping on the picture will automatically change to the correct input and the channel so they can start watching right away. If you're not sure what to watch, the Best of TV app will give you some great suggestions, and if you're in the mood for a specific channel, movie, or show, just type it in the search app and Ray will help you find it from what's on now to what will be on in the next two weeks. The Ray is also friendly with home automation, so you can pair it with the Nest thermostat, or you can pair it up with the Hue Bridge Control to control all of your Philips Hue lighting directly from the Ray's home screen. And best of all, what makes Ray so unique is that new features are being added constantly with software updates, so you never know what improvements and support you will get next. There's an update coming soon for cord cutters, so they'll have native support for streaming apps like Netflix and Hulu. After using the Ray remote for a couple of weeks, I really like it, but it's definitely not perfect. I mean, it almost has a 3000 milliamp hour battery, but it only lasts about two days or so on normal use. It might last longer if you don't watch TV as much, but that might be a turn off to some. There's support for a lot of devices, but there's some remote functionality that you might not get. Like for example, with the Apple TV, you don't have access to Siri. The last thing is that the Ray is $250, and for some that might be a turnoff, but if you really look at the other remotes in its class, it's really well priced. 
I feel like the Ray is the only universal remote that gives you this type of standalone experience and is spec'd out more like a phone with a dual core processor, one gigabyte of RAM, and it is running a fork version of Android. So this thing will get updates all the time. You never know what you're gonna get. The potential is limitless and you can't say that about other remotes. So let me know what you guys think about the Ray Super Remote. And if you have any questions, make sure you hit me up on Twitter at Super Scientific and I will do my best to answer questions there. Make sure you subscribe for more cool content like this and I'll see you guys in the next video.